How's it going everybody? It's Wilds Warriors back with another video today. I'm going to be showing you the pickups from our card show. Just got done on Saturday. Um, I'm really thankful for all the vendors that came. If you're watching this, I don't know if any of them know that I have a channel or not. But if you are, thank you for coming. Um, I wish there could have been a little bit more business, but there was lots of people that did come. Not everyone bought everything, but there was people that came. Um, it was a great show. The breaks went pretty good. Um, I'm not going to tell you how good they went because I am going to put another video out after this one about uh, of the breaks. I filmed the breaks, so I'll put those out. So we'll do that. But first, I'm going to get into this. Um, these are Koi's pickups. Um, he got some lo lots of low end stuff until the end. Like, so here's just a base to a base to a two base Chronicles to us. Um, Jamar Chase, uh, Prism Draft, Red White Blue Crusade, uh, another Chronicles Mac Jones. Um, here's a Stefan Diggs numbered to one twenty five. That one, I think he ended up wheeling the guy down to twenty five or two bucks on it. So that's like not bad at all. Um, then he got a whole pile of Anthony Edwards stuff. Um, I think he knows I like Anthony Edwards, so he kind of got some trade bait for me, even though I, I already probably have most of these already. Um, then we're getting into some bigger stuff. Uh, the Devante Adams Spectra, numbered to 99. That one is pretty nice. Um, a Crystal Lave rookie auto out of select draft picks. This is... Um, pretty nice i think he actually ended up trading like a ten dollar card and five bucks for this so like fifteen dollars in value which i think is pretty decent it's this isn't numbered but it is a very nice card here's another one another chris Olave, uh rookie auto um this one is numbered to 10 numbered to 10 and he got this for like 10 bucks i'm like no way. If I would have seen these Alaves, I would have picked them up way before him. And uh, so he got a really good deal on this one. Even though it is Leaf, it's it's number 10, so pretty awesome. This is probably the, my second favorite behind the next one coming up. A RPA of Aiden Hutchinson, um, numbered to 99, 1 out of 99. Um, it's not player worn. Um, it is the it's authentic so someone wore it but um it's not he didn't wear it um but that is one of my favorite ones that he got and then here's probably the favorite one i got so my cousin clayton you probably heard me talk about him he actually gave me the mystery box that i opened in a previous video um he came in a little bit late. Um, I think he had breakfast and it got up. He got a little bit late. Didn't realize what time it was. But um, he came in and Koi went over there and looked right away. And he asked instantly how much this was because he wants. To, I think I think he's getting Anthony Edwards for trade bait for me. But um, he asked him how much this was and uh, Clayton said he didn't really know, so he gave it to him for ten bucks. Um, it is a nine, it's but it's an Anthony Edwards, blue reactive National Pride rookie. Um, I really like this. Um, you know, I like Anthony Edwards, um, so that's probably my favorite one that he got. And then the PSA ten uh, fireworks Justin Fields rookie. Um, this one is pretty nice. I think. I think he had, yeah, he had 45 on it, but I think he paid, he traded something in like 5 or 10 cash for that, so, so, not bad overall, quite did very, very well, um, I think he sold a couple too, um, I only sold one card, and it was a Josh Allen base rookie, so, I didn't do the greatest, but, um, here's some, uh, lower end stuff I got, 
Um, another Jordan Poole. I got this exact same one in the mystery box that Clayton gave me. So I got another one. Okay, this is a variation rookie Anthony Edwards. I don't know what these go for. It's a variation, so I thought I might as well pick it up. Um, here's a flash. Um, here, let me get this quick. I think I actually have a flash. Yep, there's another one right there. Oh, it's got a smudge. Um, that's not on the card, but so now I have the what is that? The concourse and then the uh, premier level. So I don't know what the there's courtside and then is the I don't know if they do club level or what that one's called for basketball, but so now I, I have two of those. Um uh Zion Williamson uh silver from NBA Hoops. That's a rookie. Um if Zion was in his prime, this would probably be a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks. Or not prime, like when he was um coming out of college. Like when he was getting hyped up and everything, he was gonna be the next LeBron and everything and busted. Um but that's a nice card. I got it for a buck, so can't go wrong with that. Um then I traded for these. I gave um so this Giannis I had this one raw and uh so I traded that and the guy gave me twelve dollars for this or yeah so he got the Giannis he gave me twelve dollars and these two so I think I made a really good deal on that um Joe Burrow Chronicles rookie it is uh yeah so that is Chronicles and that is Illusions but okay now here are some of my higher end stuff um we got a case hit Blazers Lamar Jackson out of Optic this year um, I actually haven't opened any of this optic gear, um, but I really want to, but I got a nice blazers there. This is probably one of my favorite ones, probably my favorite. The case hit crunch time, Kenny Pickett, rookie. I think I ended up getting this for 45 bucks. So I was over the moon happy about that. I've seen sales on it like as high as $70. So if... I'm thinking about sending this in to get graded. So if this can get a nine or a 10, I think it's got good chance at a 10. So if it can get a 10, it would probably at least be like two, 300, maybe 400 bucks. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, here's one that um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure about, but um, it's a Kyle Pitts uh, select rookie blue premier level. Um, it is numbered to 149, as you can see. But the bad part is it's an 8. I did get it for 25. Um, so that kind of... It, it's not a bad card at all. Um, if it would have been a 9 or a 10, I wouldn't have hesitated to get it. But because it's an 8, I was a little hesitant. But there was someone behind me that was looking at it, so I grabbed it. Um, but oh, that I like that one, um, so I got it. And like I said, I don't do baseball that much, but I do know that Fernando Tatis is a very good baseball player for the Padres. Um, I don't know what happened with him, but didn't he? He either got suspended or got hurt or something, and was in like the minors or something, and then got just got pulled up like two months ago and he hit like then he hit like four or five home runs in one minor league game or something but here's a rookie fernando tatis psa 10 um so that those are my pickups um comment down below who you think had the better overall uh stash that they got um don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back next time. And uh, the next video will be the breaks that we did at the show. Guarantee it. Um, you'll want to watch those. Um, we did. I'll tell you one thing. One of them was significantly better than the other. But neither of them were bad. So one of them was very, very good. So you'll have to watch and see which one was good. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back next time and see you later.